Well, she got the movie industry was actually kind of a, a situation where she the, the a angry young man. In 1959, I'm sure you were not born yet. They, they were they were premiering a film Ben Hall by Charlton Hastings, and Dr. Namdi Azikiwe invited him to Glover Memorial Hall to to premiere the movie. Surprising enough, after they read a very beautiful welcome address, he stood up to say that uh, it's a shame that a country like Nigeria don't have a film industry. And, uh, don't, and um, I was a very little boy, so I shouted on top of the wall where we were peeping at the show. I said, listen, I will become a filmmaker and nobody's going to invite you again to come to Africa to come and premiere your film. So before the police would come and catch me, I jumped down, me and my friends would run away. And since then, I made up my mind, a little boy, you know, that I'm going to be a filmmaker. The killing of Muritala Mohammed. Yeah. So. You know him? Oh yeah, he's a personal friend. He is a, he's a personal friend. That's why that's why I shot the film uh, on his on his killing. Um, and I, his, the film has been banned five times by different governments. And when I appeal to them, they release it. You know, so this government comes in and buying it. The other comes and because to shoot the film, it was hell. Nobody wanted to help. Nobody wanted to support the film. I wanted to, to use the authentic uh, places, that is exactly where he was killed, his house. So what I did was got some uh, uniform boys, gave them some drinks and some money. So they closed the street and I was able to shoot the film in the exact spot where he was killed because that's where I took this steel shot myself when he was killed. You know, everyone was running away when he was killed. I was bold enough. I went there with my steel camera to take this picture. So this poster was made from a authentic picture of his execution. This was a very big uh, success, you know, commercially, historically, and uh, so. And that's what I'm after: to be able to people to identify themselves with, with what they call contemporary stories. You know, I base my so many on contemporary events, you know, and then where you can see through. Because uh, here was Murtala, a devoted Nigeria, stepping on toes of the cruel greedy, corrupt people, and they, they want him out. And that's how that they did. Well, this is uh, one of the, here, you know, because uh, most of this film, uh, like I told you, was shot in 1983, 1979. Uh, from, from 1975, they started shooting. This is, uh, this is called uh, the mask. When Nigerian government wanted the first act mask from Britain, they said, no, they can't bring it back. So I shot a film called The Mask, where Nigerian James Bond went to Britain, blow up the British Museum, and bring back the mask. And when I premiered the film in Britain, bam, the British government came after me. Said, listen, don't encourage anybody to come and blow up the British Museum. It's too expensive. Let us negotiate and talk how to get the mask back. And after this movie, I can tell you, the British government started negotiating. Though with their arrogance, they didn't give us that mask back, the exact one. They say it's too fragile to come back to where it was stolen from. But they start selling us back our artifacts which were looted in the, in the 18th and 17th centuries, you know. So uh, I've been able to use my film to make a lot of good statements and I've changed things. They've done a lot for this nation. They've given this country a good name, whether we like it or not. That's why I'm so sad with them that the beautiful thing they've done, they're watching it die. After shooting one or two films, you find that they're repeating the same character in all films because they're not trained. You see, if you're trained, you read a character, you get the right character. It's not like the last movie. Is this a new character in a new place? But they are flat. And that's my fight, you know. They've got to train. They've got to train. They've got to train. You know, and um, they, they, they have the future. The world is waiting for African cinema. Nollywood must not die. Because our footballers don't win any more football matches. Our athletics were zero in the Olympic game. So the only name Nigeria have today is Nollywood. And we can use Nollywood to tell the white country that we are not all for one night pushers.